What's up guys, this is Destro. Today we're going to be doing the PVZ guide. Uh, this is another all-in. <laughs> so if you want to improve your micro and your force field, uh, I recommend doing this. Um, don't worry guys, there will be some uh, macro guides coming soon. Um, so basically what we're going to be looking at today is a 4 gate with plus one zealot push and two uh, one one upgrades ten cent three three immortal eight gate uh, no, ten cent three three immortal one war prison one observer stalker zealot eight gate all in um, it's a good build uh, because when you do that zealot aggression they're like hey let's make wings and roaches and then they're like eh. I don't have, you know, infestors, or I don't have this or that, and then you just come with 10 centuries and 3 immortals, and you go like, pew pew, pew pew, pew pew, pew. so, you know. Um, please don't tell me, please, okay, I thought I messed up the overlay, it's okay. Um... So right now it's counted on nine. Right after the pylon. Fourteen forge. Keep chronoing probes. It's really important to try to delay the expansion. Doesn't always work out, but you know, you get to try. Delay this expansion and move in my probe to the third, um, which basically tells them you have no choice but to have a delayed expansion. Because I'm not going to cancel this, um, this pile right here. So right now, this expansion's really delayed. So he's gonna be forced to make six links, make gate, then cannon, then pylon. Um, he's gonna kill my pylon. Here you have to be really careful, because this pylon you can't put it here or here, because your cannon, like, you don't really have to make the cannon there. I'm, I'm not sure if this. I I haven't been playing on that map too much. <coughs> Sorry, so, like, I haven't been playing on the map too much, but, uh, so I'm not sure exactly how to do the wall, but just be careful to not lose your second pylon, because your first cannon is out of reach, because um, you're definitely going to regret it. Just chrono probes as much as you can, as much as you can, so, like, every time. Like chronoing probes, or or like not chronoing probes, it's like forgetting to feed your BB. You don't want to do that. You don't want your BB to be taken away because you don't get, you don't take good care of them. You really have to be careful. So, chrono probes, just like they were your babies. Get plus one as soon as you have the gas for it. Um. A lot eventually. Now uh, it's really important to verify that they're making a third. Like that probe is not gonna be the probe, the chosen one to make proxy pylons. He's not gonna be the one to bring balance to StarCraft 2. He's gonna be there to make sure you don't get all in and die sadly. Basically. Um, so cornering probes. Verify that he has a turn. Try to return back home. Click the middle line or whatever. Made this lot. Gonna make the stalker. Chrono war gay research. As soon as the core is done, you wanna start chronoing war gay research and stop chronoing probes. Push out with the Zod stalker. Try to take the tower and such. Gonna try to kill the probe. 
three, <coughs> three, three gates. A bit late, 6.45. If you do 6.30, it's better, because then you can warp in at 7.50. But, since our initial goal is just to all in and force him to make units, it's not... I mean, hold on, we'll see. I think it was cheap and then Chrono here, which is, which is gonna delay my... No, my gates are just too late. Do 630 gates. I'm crazy. You should have to c cut probes a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, so here to build is 16, 16. All the gas is filled. Start armor as soon as you can. We'll make the Zots first, but. Well, that guy, that guy was either bad or weird. Like, that Roach Warren should have been done by now. But, um. I should have started armor, too. I guess I'm bad as well. The stalker is very cost efficient. So back home, start immortals, even though I'm supply block, because that's how good I am. Um, you want to start immortals, chrono that. You don't really have to chrono armor. And uh, so I've done my damage, you know. I've killed nine workers, which is a pretty good amount. It's back home. Making a lot of sentries, five so far. We've got a lot of minerals, gonna start adding those gates for a total of eight. Uh, the probes, gonna cut them. Now, people are gonna be like. I could have chronoed armor. But people are gonna be like, You don't spend chrono boost, meh. With this build, you like, you can't really afford those eight gates. Like, there's nothing to chrono boost, really. You could do seven gates and chrono boost and save 150 long term, but since you rely on a warpism to warp in, the eight gates necessary because your war your warp in cycle is not going to be consistent since you'll have to move the warpism around. So, um, with this map, you have to make a pylon here and a cannon here. Just because counter attacks can be really strong, it's a wide map for flank, so you always have to keep a sentry back home. So right now, that guy was just trying to put pressure on me. Like I could have gone macro at that point. That guy wasn't very good, <coughs> but my plan was to all in. So good armor, get three mortals, make the warpism by now. I'm even gonna make more. Well, like I said, I've got some really stupid flanks on this map, so better safe than sorry. Um, Pat on the edges here to warp in before the warpism, uh, you know, happen. It's really good. You never killed a pat on yet. That guy was in the legend. We get the build down. That's all that matters, right? You guys get to see the build. And then you guys get to do the build in your league, and then you guys get to, you know, celebrate the victories, enjoy the points, just like they were cookies. Was I short on probes? I think I'm short on probes. Hold on. No, I'm fine. Okay. So warp through prisms about to come eventually. He can't defend that obviously. I'm supply block uh, of course. It's very cute. So, yeah, those force fields were... Jesus Christ. Okay, a bit... <clears throat> not the best replay for this build, but... <laughs> what are those spines? Oh, God. I mean... Okay, so... You know, better to laugh than cry, right? So... 
I didn't trap that queen. <clears throat> but just look, look at army value. Like it's still even, but I've got you know force field. It just I don't think it's a very good map to do that build if you don't get to fight here or I have f f f f f I think it's a <laughs> I think it's a better build on like Cloud Kingdom or Daybreak than this map. Is basically what I think. Should have some decent force field. Try to move back the sentries so they don't die. It's really important. So I went from 10 sentries to 5, so you really have to be careful. Here. <coughs> 10 to 3. Still not that good. Make sure to pop Guardian Shield. That Immortal made it alive with 9 HP. And yeah, we're, <laughs> we're going to be looking at, uh, you know, another replay of this. Uh, but let's look at the notes once again. 9 Pylon, 14 Forge, Gator Cannon depends if he's sending the links. Double gas around 4 or 5, or as soon as you have the money. Corner probes until core is finished. Start plus 1 as soon as 100, you have 100 gas. Start Zealot as soon as money. You have Stalker. Third pylon in the bane. 31 food. As soon as you have 300 minerals, start building 3 more gates. Ro robo right after the gates. Put down pylon across the map around 7. Warp in at 750. Push with Zealots until it's not cost effective. Uh, back home, make three mortals, one war prism, one observer, make ten sentries, go to eight gate total, push and kill the Zerg. Let's take a look at that second replay. Another game versus Idra. But yeah, it's it's I've I've picked that build from uh it was like the GSTL semifinals, Squirtle versus um what's his face? Ah, oh, Rigo. And um I really like the build so you know I copied it and uh yeah, it's pretty good. Like I said, 9 pylon. Uh, scout on 9. 14 forge. Rally the 13 probe. Chrono. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I scout him last, that's like the the last thing you want to do because you can't delay the expansion. Um, I decided to make the cannon first. I I think it was stupid of me because the reason I say that is if you scout him last, he's not gonna make links right away because he's gonna want to have a greedy expansion. So I should have definitely made the cannon first, uh, the pylon first. So I could be able to make more probes. So that point I'm just gonna wait around by the third. Chrono probes. Just like if you wanted to feed your babies. Apparently I don't like my kids. I see the drone, so I know he wants to expand.
to start chronoing probes. Though my chrono, sorry for that, my chrono was very late. My chrono was very late. My, my, come on, man. Come on, man. There you go. So I don't know what I was just, <laughs> I was doing, but, um, get this out, get work, get research, chrono it, transfer, when you have 16, the, like, I think, I think the, the bill that I'm, like, showing you guys right now is the best position you could hope for. Cause like you get there so instantly, it's <coughs> quite deadly. I know some Zergs wouldn't even have the balls to take that turn, but I guess it draws really big balls of steels. Sorry about that. Ugh. So Zal Stalker is going to push out. Add the three more gates. Slightly later than I say you guys should do. I guess I just me being bad. but And when they make a lot of Zalts like this, it's actually like... Uh, Zerglings like this. It's actually kind of like scary. Because you don't get to put down your pylon. Actually, what the? I'm wrong. You just have to not lose that stalker, basically, and then you can. And one thing you guys should know too, or you guys should know, is one stalker beats fourlings. As long as you like, don't get surrounded and you keep cutting. But more than like four, and then your stalker is gonna die at some point. So, I, like right now, I see like a lot of units. Like as you can see, 38 drones. Like he's doing an all-in. Even though it's on three base, like that's he's not going for an economy game. He's gonna try to kill me. So that like the the beauty of this build too is that since you go immortals with a lot of sentries. You survive to shit like this. It's an all-in because you know there's no tech. He's not well. He's starting to transition for like a macro game after, if he doesn't kill me or whatnot. But still, sort of an all-in because if he doesn't win this, winning after that will be close to impossible. So yeah, I force fielded. Immortal about to come out. I think he made too many or not enough roaches. <coughs> Make sure to focus fire the roaches with that immortal. And yeah, he's forced to back off. Go to eight gates. Force the aid gate right here. I'm still supply block. Jesus. Go to 10 sentries. That's 10. Start making zots and stalkers. Well, yeah. Get three immortals. Three immortals really key. Because there's always one immortal that's gonna die, so. I mean two. I mean two uh, cannons in case he wanted to run by while I was pushing. I didn't go for the warp prism because it was such a close map that I felt like a pylon would do the job. Yeah. Okay, Adra. Tried the good old run by. Of 
Chrono, the War Prism, Chrono uh, Century. Like I said, like people can whine at you for not chronoing, because you don't, you don't even, you know. I'm on seven gates right now, and I'm still broke. Like. How many four drones escaped? Oh. I'm just gonna go for the giant ass run by that I saw. And he pulled the plug. So, hope you guys enjoyed this build. Um, you know, I don't think I picked the best to replace for it, but uh, here's the notes one more time. Eight gates total. The the eight the eight gate isn't that necessary, but like I said, the warp prism, the warping cycle is irregular because of the warp prism, and because of that, uh, you just the eight gate is just like a safe <coughs> a safe bet at that point. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any question, ask in the section below. Uh, make sure to subscribe on my YouTube. I know people watch my videos, don't always subscribe. Please subscribe, make me happy. Make me go to bed uh, more easily at night. So, thanks for watching. Peace!